Welcome everyone, you own the iPad 10th generation where you have the black screen of death right here. Now, when I tap on the screen, my iPad works, but just imagine you tap, nothing's working, black screen stays, you're holding the power button, nothing's working. The solution is we're gonna initiate a false restart. So I'm gonna show the key combination first, then let's do it together so you can have 100% success. So the key combination is as follows. We're gonna click and release volume up. We're then gonna click and release volume down. And then we're gonna click and hold the power button. We're gonna keep it held down until we see the Apple logo. So let's try this together in three, two, one. Let me just focus the camera so this will actually, so you actually follow. There we go. So click and release volume up, click release volume down, click on the power button, keep this held down. You will not see the slider power off screen if your iPad is showing a black screen. Just keep the power button held down, do not release. If you accidentally do release, you will need to repeat the key combination. And then you vote now, when we see the Apple logo, we can now release. If you try that one time, it didn't work, just rewind the video, do the instructions just as I did them, okay? If you do it to a T, this will work. If you keep on trying and it is not working, then the problem could honestly just be your iPad is dead. You know, I assume most people have, you know, already checked that, but you know, it could just be a little fluke, you know, you didn't check. So connect your iPad to the charger, okay? And if it is dead, after 30 seconds or so, uh, so you should see a little power icon show up. If that shows up, then things are looking good. Um, you know, you should, in theory, see the Apple logo soon, it should fix itself. If that does not work, I'm gonna show you this fix. I do not advise you do this fix unless you do not have warranty. If you have warranty, your iPad is faulty, let's just get out of the way. So you will need to contact Apple, they're gonna send you a replacement free of charge, this will not cost any money. If you're watching this video a couple of years later, uh, if you're in the EU and UK, you have six years of warranty from the delivery date, okay? So when you contact Apple, tell them you want to use consumer law, um, but if you are in anywhere else, you know, of course you will only have one year. So if you are out of warranty or you just don't want to contact Apple, again, this is a hacky fix, this can break again, but this does work. I saw another YouTuber or the tech show it off, People were saying it worked. I started showing it off in my videos and people said it worked. So what we're gonna do is we need to remove any cases. So I'm gonna remove this case like so. And what we're gonna do first is we're going to tap two fingers, tap hard on the screen. We're gonna go all the way around like this. The issue that has occurred is the display connector or the battery connector has disconnected from your iPad, okay? And if we add enough force, it's going to be, uh, reconnect itself, right? So we get two fingers here. Uh, I used my case as like a, you know, something to keep my iPad sturdy, but you may need to have one hand, you know, on the iPad if it's rocking about. So get two fingers here. And you're gonna push down hard, okay? Don't do it lightly. And you just go all the way around like this. Use my other hand for support. Do that, okay? And once we've done that, we're gonna flip the iPad over and we're gonna do the same, but we're gonna do it on the back, right? Put my hand in for support, two fingers, tap, and make sure you're tapping as hard as you can. This will not damage the iPad, okay? You wanna put your back into this one, right? This will not damage the iPad, it's not cause any issues. We're just trying to Get those connectors which were disconnected, we're gonna get them back in, right? Once we've done this, we're gonna do the massage. So you're gonna get two thumbs, you're gonna push really hard to the center of the screen, okay? So I'm gonna have to move a little bit to get this done. Like So I'm gonna have to do the case again. Like that, okay? Just push down with as much force with your thumb. Just push to the center. The screen should give you smudges to show where you've covered. Just push. Just keep it going. What we're trying to do is we're just trying to force that connector back in, okay? Just keep on going. Push up here as well. Like that. 
just like that, okay? Then we're going to do the same with the back. Just adding all that force, just trying to get that connector back in. And again, this may look ridiculous, but again, if the, if the display dis uh, connector is disconnected, if the battery connect is disconnected, this will fix that. Okay, and I have actually seen comments where it actually works. And I've seen it on my comment section as well, not just all the text. Now, once you've done that, when you press the power button, most likely it's not gonna work right away. So you need your charging cable, connect to the charger, what about five minutes, 10 minutes. And then once you've done that, do the force restart you saw earlier, where you click release volume up, down, hold power, do that force restart. And once you've done that force restart, it should work. If it doesn't work, your iPad is gonna have to go into repair, unfortunately. So you will need to contact you know, Apple or some repair center. The good thing about the iPad 10 is because the screen isn't laminated, your repair costs are most likely gonna be cheaper. But if the motherboard is faulty, then get ready for that bill. With that being said, thanks for watching. If you wanna help support the channel, and uh, you know you wanna buy some iPad 10th generation accessories, then if you go to the description, there's an Amazon affiliate link. If you buy anything from my affiliate link, I'll get a commission Amazon usually takes. Bye-bye.